edit. Welcome to McFarland. This is a farming town. These kids working here are invisible. They come from the fields and they go back to the fields. Mr. White, if we're gonna reach him, now's the time. Have a good day. I'm Coach White, your new PE teacher. Diaz, Diaz, Diaz. Popular name where you guys come from? White, is that a popular name where you come from? <laughs> All right, run a lap, go. Uh, well, welcome to Toronto. It's fantastic to have you here. Thank you. And I just absolutely love this film and, and more the story. And I wanted to know from you, what was it like for you to relive this time of your life? It's kind of surreal to, to see this on the screen and actually what's happening and who's portraying me. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, who's portraying you? Let's just talk about that for a minute. Kevin you know, that's Costner. pretty, pretty Kevin cool. Costner, Kevin yeah. Costner, yeah, uh, veteran actor, you know, yeah. Academy Awards and, and all. What was it like when you, you know, maybe first met Kevin <clears throat> and talked with him to, you know, kind of get him to know a little bit about you, Jim? First time I actually met him is uh, on the set. Uh, they had just filmed uh, myself on a bike and the boys, and uh, we were standing there uh, just waiting our turn to, to be escorted out, and he comes driving by in his uh, car that he had his driver, and they told his driver, stop a minute. I think these are the boys I need to meet. So he got out and met us for the first time right there on the, and on did the you, set. Did you discuss with him? Did he ask you questions, or did he just go from script and what he knew about your life? He went totally by script from what uh, he had read. Mm -hmm in various articles, LA Times, uh, Runner's World, Sports Illustrated, uh, things of this sort that he had read and uh, different videos that he had seen. He right. never did talk to me prior to to that, but he hit it pretty close. Good. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. It was uh, wonderful watching him and, and seeing him in this role, mm -hmm. you know. And for you, all I kept thinking was um, it was quite an amazing thing that you did because you moved your family to this, you know, small town. You you take a chance because you needed a job, and then what you did for these boys was so incredible. Was there ever a time where you just wanted to throw in the towel and you were just like, I, I don't know if I can make this work for them? Never. <laughs> there never was a time that I had to throw in the towel. There was a time that I felt uh, discouraged uh, from the support that I was getting, possibly, through the years, you know, from your administration down to the, your... Uh, principal to the uh, superintendent even, That's absolutely. But, uh, you know, I had to have a positive attitude too if I'm gonna teach these kids to have a positive attitude. Yeah, and you had a lot up, you know, going against you, unfortunately, too, because of the families, because of the picking, and because of how they grew up and what they had to do. What was your, did you find was your biggest obstacle that you had to overcome with these boys? Uh, just to believe in themselves, you know, to, uh, they they were started developing and you can see that in the movie they started developing uh, a real love for the running and so uh, that's your biggest challenge there is if they want to do it then let's see how far you can go with it do you want to be as good as you can be and so uh, th this is what you try to find out with these kids and that's the challenge right there to get them to uh, want to do something now they want to do it because of the su success that others have had mm -hmm. so uh, yeah. Were you asked to be a consultant or anywhere along the way? Did you come to set often and, you know, watch the process? I was a, a consultant. Uh, I did get to see the, uh, the uh, actual making of most of it. Everything except the indoor stuff. Mm -hmm. All the outdoor stuff, we were there. We saw all the races. Yeah, uh, that, they were pretty good. They were grueling to mm -hmm. watch. Mm -hmm. I don't know how those guys got through it. <laughs> uh, to see them do it time and time again on the set because well that's not good enough let's do it again do it again but that's why they had all of them had doubles see i i didn't realize that that all actors have doubles yeah. okay it's a doubles time you run the hill you run the hill you run the hill <laughs> and we'll just get you from here down you know so yeah. it, it was interesting what impressed you most about kevin costner you know he was so personable he was just very kind and uh honest and you know he, he sat down and talked to us for a while invited us in his trailer and he's just very very good man so what for you makes a champion a uh, champion is, is uh, you know like it says a champion can come from anywhere they can come from McFarland but it's uh, you can't always be first in life 
You can't always win, but you can be as good as you can be. I'll be honest with you. The odds are stacked against us. You guys are superhuman. There's nothing you can't do with that kind of strength, with that kind of heart. Let's go show them how it's done. Tell your father it was an honor to be invited into his home. Dad, he said it was an honor to be invited into your home. Tell him I say thanks. Well, the streets have no name.